a load of KFC and how the high school hottie turned into a high school hot mess. Here with me today, okay? Let's do it. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Gotta have the hockey jock look for the high school hottie reunion, but it didn't really reunion, but there's a story. We'll talk about it. So gross and messy. What a turn off. Anyways. Oh man, it's ridiculous. But um, KFC, when's the last time I had some KFC? I have no idea, but uh, mega fries, four piece combo. We got the large gravy. I got honey mustard and barbecue sauces on deck, ready for all the dunking and dipping, diet Pepsi and some ketchup to do the ketchup gravy fry trick. So let's get this laden displayed. I'll be back here in just a moment, a snap of a finger and we'll get to eating it. Okay, first things first, before any storytelling, we do need to have a couple mitfuls of fries to do my favorite thing and that is ketchup doused in the gravy. Whew, she's steaming, she's hot, she's piping. I have not had KFC in so long. I'm so ready for this. Oh my God. I'm also just so starving right now too. It's like 7.30. I haven't eaten all day, went swimming. So hungry, so ready. To just smush, because I have not had KFC. Oh my God. KFC gravy is. Not to be questioned, contested and or played with. It is so, so good. Shall we have one gravy soaked chicken drum, a big bite, and then we'll get to chatting about this ridiculous almost meat up. Look at that barbecue sauce on the gravy. It's gonna be a hot bite. Wow. Oh my goodness. That has to happen again. Do not play with my emotional state like this, KFC. Oh. I haven't had good fried chicken in a while. Like I said, I always debate Popeyes or KFC, but KFC seasoning, just so magical. Wish I had Popeyes crisp of their coating with KFC seasoning. Then it'd just be game over. All right. So, the high school hottie tale. <laughs> Basically, like I said, I saw on her story that she was in town. She was out, like, I could tell she was out partying. Messenger hit her up. She's like, yeah, I'm in town. Out and about tonight, like, I'll see what you're up to tomorrow. Like, get at me tomorrow. <laughs> so next day comes around.
So you messaged me. My own girls. She messages me early afternoon. What's up? What are you doing? I had some stuff going on, but she was posting stories as the hours of the afternoon into like the early evening went on. And I could see see <clears throat> see that she was at this like local bar. That I used to frequent. It's one of the best. It's like an Italian spot. It's an Italian banquet hall. With a sports bar attached where they have like jukeboxes, uh, shuffleboard, big screen, arcade games, um, pool tables, that whole shit. And like bocce ball lanes, you can go throw bocce. <laughs> So she was there, but this is like a weekday, right? Just like a Wednesday or something like that. Maybe a Thursday. And I can see in the video that she has a black eye forming, like a shiner from last night's parties, obviously. So I'm immediately like intrigued slash thrown off by a woman with a black eye. I'm not going to lie. It's just very like... I mean, I mean, anybody with a black eye, this is honey mustard, just by the way, is concerned, right? What happened? What did you get up to? Unidentified party in injury, U U UPI. But, uh, I'm still like intrigued, however, already. Like, is she a mess? Or is this just gonna get messy? Cause she's already like day drinking again. But she's here visiting, right? Which is understandable. She and I are having like these messages back and forth. I see that she's at that spot. And she's like, yo, come through to the name of the place. I'm just not going to say it because whatever, but. She's like, come meet me here. But it's too early for me to like do that. And like, if I drive there and I start drinking, then I, like I gotta ditch my vehicle. And it's just very complicated in my town because like everything's really wide, far spread apart. So it's like, and like our public ride share system and stuff is just not good. Like it's, it's all shitty and very expensive. And so I was trying to figure out a way to be like, yo, you no, you stay there, do your thing. She was with a friend and maybe she'll just come to my house later and we could chill on my deck and hang out or whatever and just avoid all that. <laughs> Anyways. I kind of decide against it, right? Because I made that video of eating Burger King telling you guys that I was in debate. So I'm eating that Burger King. It's getting to be like 8, 30, 9 o'clock. And her messaging goes down to like very bare minimum, just one word answers. Not a lot of uh, expression in her way, <clears throat> way of speaking. So I just kind of decide, nah, no dice, no deal. I'm not really going to make an attempt at this. Next day, I wake, I wake up, uh, you know, whatever, and 10 o'clock or something like that. Within a few hours, I get a message of her saying, what's up, at like 1.30 in the afternoon, 2 o'clock. <laughs> and... Um, Instead of like 
just being like, oh, nothing, blah, blah, blah. I just, in my head, I'm like, I'm just going to throw it out there in a sense of the, the phrase, do you want to hook up? I mean, that could be taken in two ways. Like, do you want to, you know, get together? But also, like, do you want to hook up? And she just responded, yes. <laughs> so I was like, all right, bet that. I said, yours or mine? Right? Because I, because she said she was, it sounded like she was, at, you know, she had been home or whatever. And she was just waking up from her night out or whatever, right? And she said, like, her geographical location, which is pretty close to me. And it's close to where, like, her house is, where she stays at. So she says, mine, like, to say, says to come to my house. So I'm like, where are you at? I'll pick you up. What's your Addy? I said, what's your Addy? And her response was, yes, I want that or want them. So my head goes to, like, Adderall? And I was like, oh, you want Adderall? And she's like, yeah, can you get Adderall? <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. This chick is on one, obviously. So then I ask, I'm like, are you day drinking? And she's like, yeah, why? I was like, well, generally, that's when people would start to ask for Adderall, cocaine, or otherwise. <laughs> Plus it's summer. You're visiting town. High possibility you're day drinking. No big deal, no judgment. So, I was like, well, do you want me to pick you out? And she's like, well, I'm just working on uh, finding stuff. So I'm like, all right, keep in touch. Maybe I'll talk to you later. So all day and into the evening, she keeps saying like, hi, where are you? And I tell her kind of what's up and try to see what's up. And then she'd go like MIA, kind of cold for a bit. And then again, she'd be like, Hey, what's up? Do you want to hang out? I'm like, yeah, where are you at? <laughs> so this game keeps going on for... Until like... 10, 10, 30 at night. And, uh... <laughs> and so it's like, coming about 10, 30, like 11 o'clock. And I'm just super tired. Of all this shit. So I'm like, I'm going to call you. Just answer and let's talk. Figure this shit out. The caller. And just before I call her, I should say, she sent me a picture of her current status. She's like, sorry, I passed out. I was drunk. I was drink. I drank. I drank all day. I passed out. Sends me a picture of her like... In a bed, on a mattress with no, like, sheet cover thing. And I'm like, okay, just another messy <laughs> type thing to do. Just a very messy chick thing to do. <laughs> or person, I should say. Messy person thing to do. Because if I was doing that, that's weird too. I 
I call her, she answers. I can hear this dude laughing beside her. I'm like, so where are you at? She's like, I'm at so-and-so's house and I know this guy. We didn't go to the same high school, but we know each other. Like very well, party together a lot. And he's very much a Northern Ontario, oh fuck yeah, but like really fast Oakley shades wearing ass, tribal tatted kind of motherfucker. So she's like, I can hear them cracking up. They sound drunk. And she outright outwardly tells me, she goes, I passed out at so-and-so's house this afternoon and I pissed myself in his bed. <laughs> like, what? Why would you tell me that? And oh my God. So I'm just like chirping them at this point. I'm like, wow, you're just such a mess. Like, what have you been doing? I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> and mind you, this girl is attractive, but she's clearly on a different messed up life wave right now so i'm like yo put him on the phone put him on the phone i'm like yo how'd she get the uh the half raccoon mask like who, who gave her the black eye he's like i don't know but if you don't come and get her i'm about to give her another full like i'm about to give her a full raccoon mask because she's been here too long and she peed my bed and i was like that's your problem now, man. I'm good. So I'm just kind of like laughing at his situation. Him and I are having a laugh on the phone. And I'm like, good luck with her, man. And then she goes back on the phone and she's like, so I'm going to shower up here and whatever. And like, do you want to, do you want to hang out? I was like, no, I don't want to hang out. Are you kidding me? You likely just got banged out by this dude that I'm not like, I certainly don't want to be <laughs> sloppy seconds too. And also, <laughs> that's raw, but it's how it is. You paid yourself. Thanks, no thanks. Like, I'm good. So I hang up the call. <laughs> now she continues to text me being like, can you come get me? I need to get out of here. I'm like, no, you're on your own. <laughs> like you pissed your bed, you lay in it, right? Like, so <laughs> I just told her basically that, <laughs> told her to have a good flight home or whatever. The next day she missed her flight home, still texted me being like, hey, do you want to hang out? this next day that she missed her flight she's like i'm here for an extra day do you want to hang out and she's like i'm back in that same area but at my other friend's house like her like a girl from a girl from high school hanging out with her and her parents and we're having drinks and i was just like no i'm good like just we're i don't know if i ever even want to talk to you again to be honest at this point right and then she's like, yeah, sorry, I was just such a mess yesterday and I didn't mean to like leave you hanging and stuff. She's like, I just got day drunk and I got lost up in some, some like sauce, basically. Like I just, life took me in a weird way. Like shows, sends me a picture of like her super skinned road rash knee and just a mess, just a mess of a human being. So very off-putting, such, such a turn off. <laughs> turn off. And then I was like, all good, no worries, like no hard feelings, just like safe flights, da 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 da. And then, then she landed in back in where she lives and she was like, messaged me just saying, like, sorry, I was such a mess again, basically. Didn't mean for that to happen that way, blah, blah, blah. So I was just covering her, her messy bases. But yeah, it was, I avoided a train wreck, I do believe. So that's good. Uh, my spidey sense in the beginning was tingling correct, saying that I didn't think I wanted to do all that, but like part of me was like, yeah, but also evidently there was a reason why no. 
So, you know, high school hottie reunion could have been a hot mess. She was a hot mess. Didn't seep into my life too deeply. Dodged a large magnum bullet and possible IED landmine, land, land grenade. You know what I'm saying. Shit that could have just been messy that I didn't want to have to deal with. So avoided a peed bed and mattress and things of said nature and possibly a sloppy fall down drunk girl, woman, which is never a fun thing to deal with and or attractive. However, this was attractive as fuck. There's almost nothing left. When it comes to KFC, it just melts in your mouth. I could pretty much even eat like a bunch of the bones while I'm eating it. It's like that soft or something. I don't understand how they do it. And uh, yeah, so there you go. A little story time in my life. And uh, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, don't piss your bed when you're drunk, and stay true.